What is up, gentlemen? We are going to be talking about five daily habits that make you a better person. Now, before we hop into the video, I'm not your therapist. I'm not your life coach. I'm 27. I can't be your life coach. I haven't lived enough life yet. But what I can do is tell you some things I've implemented in my own life and the results I've gotten, share them with you and why I believe these worked, how they worked and helped me get to where I'm at. Where exactly am I at? I'm in a pretty good financial situation and in me as a person, how I communicate with people, how I have people all around me, I like to think I have a pretty good relationship with those people or persons I interact with. At the end of the day, I'm not trying to be a life coach at all. I'm not trying to do that for you, and nor do I, I don't really want to do that for you. I don't have that experience, but where I could provide value is, hey man, some of these things worked for me. Here you go. And that's the intention of this video. If you're trying to look to be a better person, I think it's no harm, no foul. On a video like this, I can provide you some of the things I've done. And then from there, hopefully it's stuff you heard already and it just reinsures or reinforces what you believe about whatever points I covered or you haven't heard about it and then hopefully you can incorporate it or go in a direction that is somewhat similar to a point I said and makes you better. So one of the first daily habits that I've done helped me be a better person and in this scenario, a better man was exercising. You heard it before, I'm not saying anything new, but exercising made me a better person. How so? First of all, you're physically stronger. So being around someone who is physically stronger or physically strong, you can be more protective and then you could just get more things done. You're more useful when you have strength about you or a little bit higher level of strength than your average person. And if I need something moved, oh, I could call John. I could call Timothy. I could call Tristan. I can call Blake. He's, he's strong. He's been in the gym. I could call you to help me with things. I know if there's an altercation that happens, even though you need to know how to fight, being strong and knowing how to fight are two different things. But nonetheless, having a level of physical strength during a physical altercation is better than nothing. So that's another point, but also exercising helps me declutter my mind. When I'm in the gym and I'm exhausted or tired, or sometimes I'm not even that tired, but I'm physically moving, I feel like I'm doing something because I actually am doing something. But on top of that, the progress I've made in the past in the gym has made me feel that much better about myself because I'm like, oh, real time, my body's changing, my face is changing, my physique is changing, the way I fit in my clothes are changing. Exercise is one of the best things to do to be a better man. After exercise, you could almost follow up and think of your diet. Eat healthy, that's the next point. Eat healthy. When you eat healthier, you'll look better because your pores aren't all clogged with oils and just crap. But also, you smell a little bit better, you'll be farting everywhere. You won't have this type of BO secreting from you from just all the foods you've been inhaling that may have not been good. When you're healthier, your attitude even changes. When you're a healthier person, dude, your attitude, you would be surprised to know how much your attitude is impacted by the foods you eat. When I'm sluggish and I just had some fried chicken, first of all, I'm useless <laughs> because I want to go to sleep but I'm almost irritable a little bit. I'm almost like the slob from X-Men or the blob or whatever, whatever that guy's name is. So when I eat healthy, I almost wanna get stuff done and I have more energy. And then me having more energy makes me appear to have more life about me. I'm much more interactive, I'm much more energetic, I'm much more extroverted. So one of the habits is just having a healthy diet, eating healthy, eating the foods I know I should be eating. If you don't know, go get a dietitian, go talk with a dietitian, or at the very least, even though they're not a dietitian, talk to your primary health care provider. Next guys, and this is huge for the gentleman, sexual discipline. I, I don't think I need to go super into detail, but hey dude, out of every girl you come across, you need to sleep with. Shocker, <laughs> you don't need to do that. Uh, just 
Control the little man downstairs. Focus on other things. It's the new year. Didn't you say you wanted to start a YouTube channel? How'd you do that? Didn't you say you wanted to start a logistics business? How would you do that? Didn't you say you get to apply for your LLC? Didn't you say you're gonna learn how to code this year? You're gonna take this boot camp, or you're gonna be a lawyer and start studying for your LSAT or whatever? Didn't you say you're gonna do these things? We're almost through with January. Have you done them? Have you started them? Have you stayed consistent? Instead of worrying about how big her butt is, you know, focus on something else. Hey, dude, it's, you don't know how that person takes care of themselves. You don't know their hygiene level. You just see the flesh. If you could control that, what I notice in my life, but I can control that, I get a lot of things done, first of all, and I get rewarded. Whether you believe in God or whatever deity you believe in, I'm a firm believer that something is watching you taking note of the decisions you make. And when you could control some of the main urges, which for a guy it's food and then, you know, little cool man downstairs, you get rewarded for it at some point. Control yourself, man. Control those emotions that, you know, might come over you, but, you know, focus on other things. Get other things done and then watch what happens. Next is making my bed. I know as simple as that sounds, but when I make my bed, I just feel like things are in order. The place where I typically lay my head down at night and wake up first thing in the morning, when that is in order, I just feel like, okay, we're off to a good start. Think about it like in track. It's all about the start. A lot of people who have ran track understand what I'm saying. How you get out those gates is so important because you could have someone who's faster than everybody. His start, his, you know, getting out the gates is so much worse that he loses to a guy or a person that he's way faster than. But he has to catch up and, you know, get into that second win in his stride. By the time that happens, the race is over. So, you know, don't lose the race in the morning. One of the ways to not lose the race in the morning is make your bed. Go through your morning routine, brush your teeth, all these other things. Get your day started. And lastly, guys, speak to one person. I noticed this, whether you claim to be introverted or whatever, and introverted doesn't mean you don't like people. Um, you just need a long time, apparently, to introverts. I used to label myself as an introvert. I'm not an introvert. I am whatever the situation needs me to be. That's what I am. So you take that as you will, but one of the things is just speak to one person. Even if you go to the store, it's the cashier. You're just like, hey, how's your day going? Good. Do that. Especially my guys who may not interact with a lot of people because of the nature of your work. Try to speak to one person and not just any person, not just your family members or, or whichever, unless you don't talk to them that much. But try to speak to a random person you don't know. The easiest way, go to the store, buy something, say something to the cashier to get the juices flowing. Do that every day and then see how things change. See how good you start to actually get interacting with people over a considerable amount of time of doing this. Actually notice your social skills will get a little bit better because you'll start just paying attention to people. You'll say hi to a random person, you're in a freaking 30 minute conversation learning about their whole life. So just stuff like that. But that's just a good daily habit to do because it keeps your social skills up and it kind of gives you out of you kind of gives you a mission to do throughout the day and then putting the onus on someone else. Because after you say hi, it's up to that person to respond. Hi, hi, okay, cool, but just keep it like that. Read their body language, read how they interact. But the main important thing is you're trying to interact with society. You're trying to interact with, hey, it's, just big, it's bigger than my just general world view in my head. There's a big world, a big globe that I'm interacting with, or at least trying by just saying hi. So those are a few daily habits that, you know, I've implemented in my life. There are a lot more. I, I'm not gonna put them all in this video because I don't want this video to be super long, but there are a ton more and then there's arguably some more important than the ones I've listed on here. But the point is, take this list, look at it, have, append to it, figure out what works for you in your life. Maybe you're a person you're just like, dude, I just wanna be better, man. I'm right there with you, man, I understand, I wanna be better. Uh, you could buy the suits, the clothes, whatever, but nobody wants to be a douchebag in a nice suit. No one wants that. You don't want to feel that way. You don't want to have a Rolex, but do be a piece of crap, man. 
So, you know, the words and word again, I'm not a life coach. I don't want to be, I don't think I qualify for one at all. But one of the things is I could share my experiences that what I worked on is like, hopefully it helps you. Hopefully it gets you working towards something. And if you tried something in the comments below, say it. This is a community where we want to help each other in so many facets, not just fashion, not just style, not just fragrances, but the man. But God, we're building that. So that's it, guys. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Again, remember, please like, comment, and subscribe. There are a lot of people who haven't found us yet, and they're looking for a channel like this so that they can peruse what we have to offer. Hopefully, they see the value that we have to offer, especially in videos like this. And like always, I will catch you, gentlemen, in the next one.